Hello everyone, how are you doing today? Today is Sunday, May 26, 2024. It is the celebration of the Haitian Mother's Day. And I actually have a different message and I just have so much in my heart that I want to share. Um, because unfortunately, you know, the world is not always made of women who are the best mothers. Neither is it made of women who deserve to be mothers. In the field that I work in, a lot has opened, a lot of doors open in terms of like, you know, coaching and mentorship has to do a lot with digging up the the junks the the situations that are prohibiting many in, individuals into striving in your career in your path in your passion in life there is a famous couple i'm not so sure how famous they are they're probably famous that i follow here on youtube and they are the, Sh the Schroeder family. I'm going to write the name down for you. They are a white couple who adopted a black girl. And, you know, I was never fond of interracial um, adoption because of what is going on here in the country of Haiti. And um, you, you, I'll write the name of these people so that you can follow their page. When you look at the life that these people, and they have an open adoption, meaning that the girl, the little girl who got adopted, she got adopted before she was one years old. I mean, she was placed in foster care, foster care with these people, and um, they adopted her. Mind you that these people have no children. They were absolutely not thinking about adoption. They thought about fostering people and I mean, the, the entire story is on their YouTube page if you want to follow. And I've been following their journey for maybe two years, a little bit over two years now. And it got me to really think about the video that I made here on my platform regarding adoption here in Haiti and regarding also my position in regards to foreign people who adopt black kids and how I feel that a lot of the a lot of the times those adoption there's like sickles you know it's, it's just a lot going on because I'm I'm also looking at it from a lens and a perspective of cultural belief of what I know that some of the, my peers or people that I know have gone through but watching these people and I know from someone who makes video online for over what since 2014 almost 10 years now that a lot of times what you people are seeing is not necessarily the truth it doesn't necessarily reflect what someone else is going through nor that it reflects somebody's life you know people can you know just embellish um with online it, you a lot of time you may not even get a third of what that person is truly facing and it's really going on. This is why sometimes it's kind of like we as a public can get flustered when we see two people and it's kind of like, oh, they look so good. Couples go, but then down the line, it's like next day you're hearing that these people are crashing. But anyways, so just to look at the life um, that these people have offered that child, it's so refreshing watching her, the way that her mother cares for her, the way that the mother even goes to the extent of learning her hair, of learning what to do with her hair, of taking the time to find the correct product. Her father feels so protective of her. I even feel like, I even believe that in one of the videos he talked about that he had and he didn't even think twice about cutting up some of his own family members who question the fact that he was adopting a black girl like you know like many people they probably felt like okay you guys could have if you wanted to adopt you guys probably could have adopted like you know uh, a white kid why the black kid 
And, you know, becoming a parent has very little to do with birthing anyone. And so many of us have some toxic relationship with our parents. And a lot of the times, a lot of the blockage that we have in our lives is due to some of those relationships. Because the most powerful relationship that you could ever have is with the person who birthed you. Um, the woman that I interviewed, the very first conversation that I made, Natisha Brooks, she severed her ties with her biological mother. She felt that the relationship was too toxic and she was going nowhere. And the culture of Haiti, it's almost kind of like a taboo subject that is never brought about those type of toxic relationships that people have with their parents especially their mothers, but that is not welcome. That is not talked about. That is not, there's no space for it in the in our society. It's kind of like, it's look upon kind of like, how dare you, you know? How dare you hate the woman who birthed you? And without giving thoughts of the fact that you could have a parent who hates you you could have a parent who's actually praying for your downfall you could have a parent who's plotting against you and you you just would have never imagined that you you just would have never believed that a lot of times in this life it's important to take away at the hats of the people that are around you do you know that two years, I think it was last year, I entered the program and halfway through the program, I just left it because the woman who was my support, she was supposed to be my mentor. I realized that that woman felt a particular way about me, you know? So thankfully, I'm no longer in the place where I second guess myself. I'm no longer in the place where I second guess my emotion. I'm no longer in the place where I second guess who, like anything about me, my energy, the vibe. So I just, I didn't want to be part of this program anymore. So I cut it out. And when I sent the email, she never asked what was the situation, why I chose not to um, be a part of the program, if everything was wrong, if everything was okay. And I even felt that that woman was kind of like taking on information that I had to give for her own benefit, right? I share this with you because this was supposed to be someone who was supposed to quote unquote mentor. And I chose a program, actually it was referred to me, but I accepted to be a part of the program because at the time I was mentoring and I always like to balance things, you know? So I felt like, okay, maybe I could also get a mentor and somebody could coach me. But a lot of time people cannot mentor you, especially when you have more to offer or if you have a lot of ideas and a lot of things going on in your life. I bring this up just to show you that titles can... Um, kind of like have a, a effect, you know, when you are looking at someone, you're like, oh, that person would never dare. That's my best of friend. That person would never dare. That's my boss. That's my, you know, employee. That's my colleague that I like. That's my mother. That's my dad. But a lot of times, these are the same people that are plotting against you. These are the same people that if you were to fail, they would be happy. These are the same people that are praying for your downfall and you don't even know it because you're not even considering it. And I really, I, I had it in my mind all morning to talk about that. I actually really wanted to go live, but I haven't even ate um, because I was like, I really want to make sure that in my channel, 
I have a place for those of us who don't have the best of relationship with our relatives, with our family. For those of us who have, well, I don't want to be so drastic with my own family and my own relative, but you know, you hear so many, you hear so many stories, right? You would be surprised at how someone really feels about you if you don't shut up enough to observe, if you don't stay quiet enough to pay attention. Like, it could be so simple as that you might just be the person who's the brightest. You might just have to be the person who has different ideas, but, you know, you have people who are competing with you and you're not even trying to compete. It's like, compete for what, right? So, in this day, as we celebrate Haitian Mother's Day, this video is for the women who actually continuously have some toxic relationship with their children, with their parents. A lot of time you have to cut the ties with these individuals. You're not going to get anywhere in life if you don't cut the ties. And cutting the ties doesn't always mean that you, you, well, it's very important as well, if you can, to be away because not many of us can have the capability to block energetically and physically these people from our lives. Not all of us can do that. So if you're not able to do that, but you're able to, you know, I say they say, um, there, there, there's a term for that. It's kind of like when you, it's like no contact, no contact, so no talking, no letting them know what's going on with your life and you just moving on. You'll feel so much better. You'll, you'll feel so much freer in this life if you are able to do that. It's very, it's a more hurtful thing that someone can ever go through is to realize that the person who birthed you is actually not in your corner. It's to realize that the person who birthed you is actually the person who would be happy if you failed? <laughs> I'm laughing because, you know, 2024 has been an eye-opening year for me in, at so many levels, at so many levels. And I've had to fight for my life here in this country. And, um, you know, it, it's very, it's very sad to see that, um, wow like um people are truly plotting and i mean this is why i say you need to learn how to bet on yourself because so many people are betting against you so why not bet on you so many people are plotting against you so many people are waiting for you to fail in this life so many people are waiting for you to not succeed you don't know their hearts. You don't know their true intention. You don't know what they really have inside. So why not bet on yourself? Why not show up for yourself? Because at the end of the day, you are all that you have. If you are grateful enough to be in your 30s, there are so many resources out there for people to tap in. You literally can create your own world. You literally can have your own like bubble world that nobody knows about, right? And you don't have to penetrate somebody else's bubble. You, you, you could create your own community. You could create everything. But it's so important, family. I just had this message that I really wanna share because I'm just really tired of the bullshit. I'm tired of the lies. I'm tired of, I'm tired of the um, hypocrisy. I'm tired of like people pretending that they have the best of relationship with their parents, especially within this Haitian culture, especially within this Haitian culture. It's like people never taking the time to reflect on what they had going on before they decide to continue on the cycle, right? So it's kind of like you had such a poor relationship 